This is our 2016 Cricut line. This here is a Trek. We have three models in the Cricut line for 2016. We have the Trek, which is our top of the line. We have our camp where we removed some of the accessories. And then we have our gear, which is this one over here, which is our toy hauler. Uh, so we have the gear, the camp, and the Trek. We're gonna go over the Trek right now. As I step in, this unit here, you've got the ability to sit here. You can add a child's bunk here that I can show you in a, another one of the units. You can actually have a second child's bunk. You've got your sink here. You've got your window system here. You've got five opening windows on the canvas. This one here obviously is closed. What we've done unique to the 2016 the kitchen assembly here with the release of four wing nuts, you can pull the whole kitchen assembly out and get to the working components, your water pump and your water heater. This has a 12 volt German made two and a half gallon hot water tank. We have an outdoor shower. This is our brains. This is where all the electricity happens. Convert, invert, 12 volt to 110, 110 so on and so forth. This is our light bar. We have our pump, our heater. We also have an LED work light up above. We have a red step light down here for nighttime. And then we have an overhead patio light. If you look outside, uh, there it is. Um, that is operated from this light bar here. Over here, we have a second set of lights. We have a red LED for nighttime. We have a wash light, or I call it a mood light, that washes the back panel for nighttime. And then we also have another LED work light. Underneath this area here, we've got storage. Going this way, this is where all the batteries are stored and enclosed with vents going to the outside. So I slide over here. This is another storage system. If you notice everything, it's birch plywood cabinet grade. You can get to it. This system here, in the down position, this table releases. This screws out. A shorter leg goes in. This drops down on it. And the cushion locks in, so you have a queen bed here at the shoulders. You've got pretty much a full bed down there at your feet. All of the windows, just like on the Tiger Moth, you've got your screen, you've got your privacy. They all tilt out, double insulated. Before I close this to head down the road, I would zip up my windows. But for timing, we're just gonna give you a quick demonstration. You pop this out, this pulls down. What I always do is I take one of these to temporarily hold it. Now I would go outside and make sure all of my canvas is tucked in nice and neat. And then I have a road safety clip up front that I pull down locks this down, I come back in, and I fasten these. I'm 6'2", I can sit in here even on our Engel 110 12-volt refrigerator, have lunch, do my notes, lay down, take a nap. Then if I want to, get to the campsite, with one push, the top goes up. We've got a, a new thing we added for 2016, which is our kitchen utility bar over here. If you notice the construction, it's, it's made high quality. We use nothing but the best. All skeleton parts, which are the aluminum that we have here, are all cut on a CNC. The reason why the unit has the dimensional, people will pull in and they'll look at it and go, oh my gosh, you've wrecked it. No, the reason why it has the form that it has is aerodynamics and structural. 
by just taking the, the, the component parts, which are these composite panels, like I showed you in the Tiger Moth video, and putting that bend, you end up strengthening these units by, by just that bend instead of it just being a straight piece. The other thing is spatialness. Standing in here, I'm 6'2", 220 plus pounds, and by just those little blowouts, it gives me all sorts of spatial room. There's all sorts of contact points for carabiners. Um, it, it's built like it needs to be built. Stepping to the outside, uh, this can all have the Thule rack system like we show here with the mountain bike. We can add the kayaks, we can add the Yakima box, we can add any tool or Yakima component known to man. So the back is down. Uh, on a side note, the Thule or the Suga canopy over here can be attached to this right here. We do have a canopy that attaches to these three points here that'll stretch out to here. Now that's not a, a freestanding, we do have to have that staked out. When this is closed, you can hear the quality of it. I mean, it closes. Our bumpers back here will support Oh, like I said, I'm 200 plus. I can get up on here and access everything I need to access. Moving around the trailer, we call this our mechanical wall. We've got a gravity fill that'll take it into a 12 gallon potable water with a 12 gallon holding tank. We've got the connection for the ZAMP solar system that plugs in. This unit here has our 110 5000 uh, BTU air conditioner. That is an option. Moving around to the front of the trailer, we have our 30 amp service. So when we're at a power point, we can plug the 30 amp service in, charge our batteries, run our LEDs through the converter. What we've got here is, is we've got a pressure water fill when we're at a city water situation. New for 2016, we've taken the gravel guards and we've moved them back and we've put a protective coating on it. What we have here, is our 2016 attachment for our shower. It's all packaged in one nice little box. The uh, shower nozzle attaches. We have a cabana that attaches here, comes out, and there's a support pole here and here. So for those people that don't want to be outside uh, butt naked, uh, you have a place to get in. Doesn't bother me though. Uh, here's something unique that a lot of people don't know what it is. Right here is a bottle opener, so you can take that adult beverage and pop it right there. Garrett thinks of everything. When the roof comes down, this is new for 2016, we've got a nylon um, protection piece, so when it comes down, it fits right into here, and we are rock solid. When the top is down for 2016, we also have an exterior grommet that runs all the way, so it comes down and completely seals all this off. To replace the canvas, we're looking at about a 45 minute uh, process. I can do it in 30 to 45 if I have the help of somebody, it takes me three hours. 1,500 pounds is what this unit weighs. This is our blue model. We make it also in the silver, which is this color over here. Uh, those are the two models we, are the two colors that we use. Uh, just finishing up over here, this is the gear. As you see, all the components have been pulled out except for the kitchen. This has become popular with the adventure athlete that has his, his or her $6,000 mountain bike, their kayaks. They have a thermo rest. They just want to basically carry all their gear and then have a base camp. This would retail, MSRP on this model here would be around $27,000 to $28,000. Uh, you could probably buy this unit here somewhere in the $24,000. 23 to 24 depending upon some of the options that you would add.